Hello YouTube, we are back for another episode in relation to Thrilling Comics, Mike Nighttiger's wonderful Golden Age, World War II, Alex Schomburg cover. Now what are we going to do today? What we're going to do today is a little dry cleaning because we want to try to make this book as best as possible. Before you continue watching the upload, please check out the prior episodes in relation to this book. We had tape removal, and there was a lot of tape that we were able to take off. So enough with that. What are we going to do here? You may be asking, why are we going to dry clean a comic? Because probably, Jerry the Jitterbug, you are going to do some form of aqueous bath. I like to dry clean the comics because just because we're going to put it in a solution or a water bath, you still want to try to eliminate the surface dirt with the friction cleaning. And I'm going to show you the way I do it. And hopefully I'll be able to give you some tips if you want to dry clean your books at home. I am not a pro. This is not pro tips. This is just tips for you to work on your comics and do the best with what you have or with a few inexpensive supplies that you can purchase at local dollar stores and local art house supplies. And on a line, the Absorian, you can get online. So stay tuned. I'm going to set up my cleaning shelf as you will see in shortly and we'll get going okay guys we are back for the dry cleaning episode so what do i like to do there's a lot of people who do different things when they dry clean i like to separate if the cover as you can see here is in two separate pieces we're gonna do one piece at a time so let's do the front cover so what we want to do is we want to move away the back cover, get it out of the way so we can work unfettered. So I see people take cotton rounds and they give it a nice little spin, which is fine. I have no issue with that. But what I like to do is I like to use a white eraser. And I will use the white eraser on the whole cover and it's just different degrees of pressure here i have what's called a cheese grater you can get this at any dollar store or any cooking supply store but a dollar store is fine and then what i do is i like to take the white eraser and we're going to make little particles of the white eraser it's raining white particles on this beautiful thrilling comics and we're going to do a lot of white particles now i know there are bags filled with these white particles that i think lenco makes and they're drafting bags or i really don't know the term of what those bags are called I was thinking about getting one in the past. When it comes around, maybe I will. But for me, this always worked out well, or it does work out well to do this using the small particles of the eraser onto the book. And I like to do a lot of them. And the more, the merrier. And I showed this technique in the past before in prior uploads so take a look at my catalog of videos or uploads that i have and you will see that this is not a new technique i probably used this technique a few years ago a year and a half ago many times i have used this technique it's something that i use very often and it works well where did i learn of this technique well I do a lot of research online and on YouTube for conservation videos in relation to any document, 
what does that mean? Well, there's a lot of conservators out there that do uploads in relation to artworks, ancient maps, prints, things of that nature. A lot of them are from museums, conservation firms in Europe, in Asia. There are a lot of individuals who post things on YouTube. And through my discovery and research, what I like to do is bring in other areas of conservation and I like to apply it to comic books. So one day I was watching YouTube searching document conservation and I came across someone from Europe. It was not even in English and what they do to start cleaning the document that they're working on is that they do this. They just took a white eraser and they grade it and they in fact use their fingers to gently massage the eraser particles into the document and it did work out very well so that's where i got the idea from so we like to do is we like to take the brush and we will brush the particles away i think a little bit more would do justice the more the merrier this may be a little boring but you know what this is a very good way to do it and you'll see in a second that it will lift up a lot of the surface dirt and we will hopefully be in a better position to do the aqueous baths that I plan to do on this book we're going to do two aqueous baths I believe and we're going to do isolated isolated spot stain removal and I have a few new methods that we're going to do and we're going to show you on the channel again I'm not a pro in doing this I'm not a professional conservationist but I learned through the course of me doing this a few years a few tips and tricks that really work in my opinion so I think that's pretty good right now. It's the morning when I'm filming this, so I'm gonna have a nice sip of coffee. Excuse me. So right there you have your graded eraser. So now what I like to do is I like to gently take my cotton round and I like to circular, I like to move it around in a circular fashion and you gently take the eraser shavings and you slowly go in circles across the cover of the document. You have to be very careful when you get to the ends doing this because you do not want to lift up any of the ripped edges of the cover and especially with weak covers like this is unfortunately it's an old one it's an old book and there's nothing that you can do to revert it back from being old but you can just take your time and do what i just did so now i see that there is some darkness on the pieces that I just rub gently into the cover. Now what I want to do is I want to use my regular eraser right here and what we're going to do is I'm going to take a backer board and I've done this before and I want to move over the graded pieces to one side because we're gonna move them around a lot. So we're gonna start and we're gonna do this in little sections at a time. Then I like to put my back aboard. This is an old back aboard. You can see this was used a lot. And then what I like to do is just gently rub the pieces of the eraser in conjunction with the eraser that I am using the pencil eraser 
and you slowly rub the eraser going across the section at a time. And I always like to pull towards the edge of the cover because you don't want to run the risk of ripping if you pull this way, if you pull from right to left. So this is just a gentle method, nice and slow. And then what we'll do is once we're done doing the whole portion of the cover, little section at a time, then I will concentrate on the areas of white. And I do like to use the white erasers on the whole book. It's not a situation where you have to relegate the white eraser just to the white portions, but if you gently take your the pressure of the pen eraser in conjunction with the pieces of the eraser that you graded, you'll get a good job in cleaning it. And all we're trying to do is to remove the surface dirt. That's it. We want to remove the surface dirt in order to make it where the aqueous bath will work that much better. And this is the process that I use. Slow and steady wins the race. There's no rush in doing this. You need to take your time and try to be consistent with the eraser. Do not put a tremendous amount of pressure on it because by doing that, you will have color lift. Now I have to be candid and I have to be upfront. This technique that I use is not a go all technique. I mean, what does that mean, go all? What it means is this process is not to be used on every book, every era. It, this is what I use for Golden Age. I also do use this process on Bronze Age. I do use this process on maybe some books in the Silver Age, depending on their condition. But this process, I don't know if it would work on modern books. I'm really not a modern book guy. So if you're watching this in relation to modern books, go to another channel and I would recommend following their recommendations for the modern books. I'm a relic of the past with old books and old books are golden age, silver, even up to bronze. I have no issue with bronze. So what we'll do now is I'm gonna go across it again. I'm gonna go very delicate with the, actually, I think I did a good job. We're gonna use God's tool. I'm going to my fingers now, and there's nothing wrong with using your fingers. And we're just gonna work on one section at a time, just like this. Now, you have to understand that by doing this process, am I gonna have a book after I remove all of the eraser shards and pieces and I'm done with it? Am I gonna go, holy geez, this is, what a wonderful transformation. No, the transformation is going to be very little to the naked eye. But what happens is every step that you do, every little section of care that you put to the book, it helps. So right now, I think I'm pretty good. So what I want to do now is I want to focus on the white. And I want to be a little more aggressive now in this area because we can do it because we're not going to lift any of the color. So we're gonna be a little aggressive and I can see right there, there is dirt. You see the dirt coming off. So it, it will work and you just have to be patient. And there you go, that is dirt coming off. 
I'm gonna do one more shot of the eraser going down this piece. We're gonna do it three times or so. And then we're gonna see the results if it did anything. And I think it will do something in my opinion. And we're just gonna be patient. And what I'm gonna do now, because I'm probably sure you're tired of me babbling, I am gonna go to time-lapse and I'm going to do the whole book. So enjoy on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, guys, we are back. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. It was a lot of fun cleaning the book. I may do before and after photos, but I don't know. If there is a big difference, I will. But you have to understand that there may not be. But the main goal was to remove any surface dirt that was on the book. And I think I achieved that goal. And I think it definitely is a lot cleaner now and it's ready for the next step of the aqueous, aqueous bath, the first bath. And you can see right now, if you're still watching, that look at the eraser particles. Do you see how dirty they are? Now take it, some of that discolorization, I have to admit, is from some of the ink lift, very little, and also some of the glue residue that it may still be on. And that's why it was very important, but look how dirty that is. So it's, in my opinion, an essential step before an aqueous bath that you do the dry cleaning. And I can tell right now that the Thrilling Comics is a lot brighter. I'm still upset about this color loss here, but it's a part of the game. And then also, I honestly think this color touch right here, and we're gonna explore that later, and I'm gonna have to speak to Mike about it because I think that someone, it looks like maybe nail polish was put right here. And if that's the case, that has to be scraped off if Mike desires it. And I would recommend that it is. But we're going to test it out with the microscope, the digital microscope that I have. And I'll be able to determine whether it is probably to a high degree of probability, whether it's color touch or not. So I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment support the channel, give out my information for anyone that you know that likes to do this stuff with comic books. And don't forget, the Comic Book Community Awards are still going on. And if you haven't voted already, I have the link in the description to go support the channel. So again, thank you and stay tuned. Thank you.